Welcome to the next lecture in electric circuit analysis. We were discussing the three phase circuits, and this is the last part of three phase circuit where we will cover the discussion on unbalanced three phase systems. So, we have already discussed the balanced systems, now we discuss the unbalanced system. What is an unbalanced three phase system? Unbalanced three phase system may occur due to two possible situations. The first situation is the source voltages are not equal in magnitude or differ in phases by angles that are unequal. So, we have discussed that the three phase source voltage will have the same magnitude with an angle of difference of 120 degree. So, we will be having the angle difference of 120 degree then we can say the system is balanced. But when the system is having a different uh, magnitude and having different phase, then in that case the system will be having unbalanced condition. So, this magnitude will not be equal, this magnitude will be different or the phase will be different, unequal. Then in that case we say the system is unbalanced. The second condition may occur from the load side. So, load impedance may be unequal. So, if the three phase load impedance are unequal in magnitude, then it is said to be unbalanced condition. When we are dealing with unbalanced three phase systems, then we need to solve the problem using mesh analysis and modal analysis. We have seen that when system is balanced, then any three phase balance system can be broke up as three single phase system. So, we have done the analysis in single phase system and then we convert that into three phase equivalent. However, if the system is unbalanced, it is not possible to break the system in single phase equivalent. Rather, we go by mess and modal analysis to solve the problem. Now, here we take the example of the star connected unbalanced system where each phase will have different impedance. Then in that case, the current IA, IB and IC flowing in each phases will be different depending upon the voltage of the phase and the impedance of that phase. So, voltage divided by impedance in accordance with Ohm's law will be useful in finding the current in all the three phases. So, IA, IB and IC are the current which is flowing in the three phases. The neutral current is negative of summation of all the phase current. So, we have IA plus IB plus IC. Now, in order to calculate the power in an unbalanced three phase system, we require that we find the power in each phase separately. So, we will be having, we will require to find the power in the phase A plus power in the phase B plus power in phase C and then we can obtain the total power in the system. So, total power will be sum of power in the three phases. Let us see one problem to understand the unbalanced condition. So, here we have a system where the source is star connected and the load is also star connected. We see that the source is having the amplitude of 120, 120 volt and the angle difference is 120 degree. So, we can say the source is balanced. However, if we see the impedance of the three phases, then it is different. Here we have uh, resistance, inductance and capacitance whose magnitudes are different. So, the system is unbalanced. We need to calculate the line current, total complex power which is absorbed by the load and the total complex power which is absorbed by the source. So, in order to solve this type of problem, we go by mess and modal analysis. So, if we consider this one as mess 1 and the other one as mess 2, then we write the KVL equation in mess number 1 and mess number 2. So, we have to write the Kirchhoff's voltage law equation as summation of all the voltages in the mess, closed mess is equal to 0. Then the voltage which can be written as the product of current and the impedance of the branch. So, we see that our first equation that is written in mesh number 1 and the second equation which is written in mesh number 2. So, we have two equations which we need to solve 
then we have two variables i1 and i2 which we need to obtain. So after obtaining the solution to these, we obtain the current i1 and i2. So i1 will be at 0 degree and i2 will be at 24.9 degree x. Once we have found out the current i1 and i2 which are the mass current we have found out. So we can find out what is the current IA. IA is the same current which is flowing as I1. IC, if we see it, the current which is flowing in the phase C, it will be minus of I2 because the direction is different. IB is I2 minus I1. So we can find out the currents in each of the three phases. Now we can calculate the power in the phase A, power in the phase B and the power in phase C which is Ia square multiplied with Za, Ib square multiplied with Zb and Ic square multiplied with Zc. So Za is the impedance of phase A which is equal to J pi, Zb is the impedance which is 10 ohms and Zc is the impedance which is minus J 10 ohms. So we can find out the apparent power in all the three phases and then we can add all the three powers in the three phases to get the total apparent power for the load. Now, if we go from the source side, the apparent power of A, B and C, we can find out as voltage into current magnitude. So we have the phase voltage A multiplied with current magnitude. Here we have phase voltage B multiplied with current magnitude. And then we will be having the phase voltage C multiplied with current magnitude. So voltages VAN, VBN and VCN are balanced with 120 degree phase difference and the consumate of the current we are taking. We are taking a negative sign in the power because we are dealing with the active element. Now the sum of A, B and C will give me the total power for the source. We see that the total power of the load and the total power of the source magnitude wise is same. This indicate that there is a law of conservation of so this complete our discussion in three phase circuit. We have uh, completed both balanced system and unbalanced system. Thank you.